Here's actual evidence-based ways that you can improve your mood during lockdown. This video is basically trying to help you guys and also help myself make the best out of a bad situation. So here's what we can do. First up, we've got moving and eating well. Lockdown can very easily make you feel unmotivated, uninspired to do anything at all. And I know when I'm in this mental state, I don't wanna exercise and I don't wanna eat well either. But we have to do whatever it is that we can to force ourselves to get some exercise in and eat some healthy food. You see, exercise boosts the production of serotonin in our system. Serotonin is essentially the hormone that boosts your mood. And to add to that, 95% of the serotonin in your body is actually produced in your gut. And so if you're eating healthy and nutritious food and you're exercising, then you are well on the way to improving your mental well-being. Two, use tech to stay connected. Last week, a bunch of friends and I, we created like a random cooking competition where one participant would choose the particular ingredient that you had to cook with. So for example, let's say you and I were in this cooking competition and I chose mushrooms you would have to include mushrooms in your dish somehow. So basically, we all went to our respective grocery stores, obviously not the same grocery store. And then later that day, we came back and that evening we jumped on Zoom and then we all cooked. I couldn't participate in this one, but I was on the call. And here's a few pictures of what they made. We were laughing, we were having fun, we were throwing banter around. It was just a really good way to connect with other people and do something fun at the same time. And now that our lockdown has been extended, I'm sure round two is coming up soon and round three, I'm sure will be right around the corner. <sighs> Another thing for you to do is to change up your days. Having a routine and sticking to it is old advice, but it does work and I do highly recommend it. But if you're feeling like it's Groundhog Day and every day is the same and you're sick and tired of it, then I'd highly suggest changing it up in some way, shape or form. The way I look at it is that you kind of have to change your routine without changing your routine. And what I mean by that is, let's say for example, you always take a particular route when you go for a walk. Instead of taking that particular route, you then change the route that you do just to add a little bit of extra spice to your day that can sometimes be a little bit bland. Another one that I'm sure you have heard before is to set clear boundaries when you're working from home. And the angle that I wanna take with this one is obviously making sure that you have the boundaries with respect to time, but then also making sure that you have boundaries with respect to place as well. I think the quote goes, time has memory, location has energy. So what that means is, is if you have a particular area in your house that you do something, like whatever that is, that area will get associated with that particular activity and then all the qualities and all the energies around it also get added on top. So for example, at this desk that I'm currently at, like I only shoot videos here, I don't do anything else other than that. So I get really into the mood of being on camera and whatnot. And when I'm at my desk, it's about editing, it's about doing work, it's about studying. But when I'm on the couch, it's about relaxing, it's about watching TV, it's about just kicking back and not really thinking about work too much. And so I encourage you to set those boundaries nice and clear. One other thing that you can do is to start a new project. And this is my favorite one because I feel like this is one that's brought me a lot of passion, a lot of inspiration, and in general, a lot of happiness in a time where I can be very, very sad and down and out. Introducing some form of novelty in your life can help boost your mood while you're in lockdown. I started this channel a little bit over a year ago and it's helped me heaps. To add further to this, I'm going to try and pick up the guitar. Currently, it's been a piece of decor that's just moved around the house. And when we could have people over, people would come over and be like, oh Himmel, do you play the guitar? And I'd immediately say, no, I don't. And then try and change the subject. And I wanna to get to a point where one day I can be like, yes, yes, yes I do. Um, and that's quite big for a person that can barely play a chord. But you know what? We can set our goals high, why not? Anyway, guitar is probably gonna be my new hobby, my new project thing that I'll be picking up during this lockdown. So pick something, like start something new. It could be something that you've been putting off for a while or something that you've just been interested in. And who knows, you might be able to pick up some really valuable skills. And last thing, is not anything for you to do really, but it's something I suppose that we can understand. And that is to take comfort in knowing that someday it is going to end. We don't know when. Um, we thought it would be like, oh yeah, just 2020, but it's like 2021 now and still 
this thing is happening. The world's kind of in a bit of a mess. It's tempting and it's easy to be consumed by it all, but we don't have to and we can choose not to be. It's difficult, I know, and I'm sending heaps of love and support your way, but have comfort in the fact that one day it will end. And hopefully that day is sometime soon. If you are struggling with your mental health, then do seek some support. Otherwise, I made a playlist over here filled with mental health videos that I've made. And if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would do me a massive favor. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.